Everybody is Roach, and I am so happy to be playing Firewatch again. I really, really enjoy this game. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, oh my god, she's interrupting me again. You'll see that she interrupts me over and over. There's a playlist in the corner if you want to catch up. I have no, I don't want to have any idea what she said because she's an interrupting bitch. This isn't that hard. Um, I don't know well, who Bit Reynolds is. For Bert Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Is that true? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh huh. Hmm. Hey, you asked. Okay. Well, need to finish this that window. Gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. Are it's we wearing shorts? Hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my God, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then it's what do you normally like to it's wear? Get weird. We need to finish this bloody window. Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. Where is... Where do I see? Uh, Where is her hut? Oh, there it is. Hmm. I have a thick beard. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. That's so um, weird. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. The eyes. Okay. Uh, tired. They look tired. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age, and you just. <clears throat> You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. Oh, speak for yourself, mister. Don't I think that's planks of wood is the best way to fix well, a window. some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. They clean you up your you books, man. Absolutely. Oh, well, that's actually where they go. Why are the books all over the floor? Hey, don't do that. There we go. Do we get all of them? I don't know what our task is right now. Find boards downstairs to patch window. All right. I still don't think boards are the best way to go about it, but we're going to do it regardless. Oh, that's right. The, uh, the run button in this game is really annoying. Shift is for the radio. And run is R, uh, which I guess it makes sense R uh, for run, but it's it's not normal. Where am I gonna find these boards? Maybe over here by the by the toilet latrine. Imagine you have to come all this way, just go to the bathroom. Hey, there's a board. Get a couple more boards. Alright. I can hear moving around. Is it me kicking? I think it was me kicking grass. Okay. Or is it going to be this way? Where are we going to find them? Is that a board? No, that's just a, that's a broken sign. Are they going to be on the map? Is it going to be useful? Okay, we're there. Probably not, right? It's probably... We're already dotted around the camp. Let's just look. Let's go check out. Let's, I know. I know what we'll do. Let's take the board that we have upstairs. Oh, you're kidding me. They're right here. How did I miss these? Board up broken window. Okay. Why are the cinder blocks? What do we need those for? Come on, you douche. Get up there. It's not gonna flip and stop the wind from getting in. He's not even using nails.
Hey, you want to put like a sheet over it or something? I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Look out for well, fires. Been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit oh, in that room guy. until September first and call me at the first sign of smoke. What's that? Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that it's... task, and uh, I'll give it to you. There's something in the sky. Do we have a telescope? We've got to have one, right? Come on, we need it. We need it. We need a telescope. Something in the sky. But now I've lost it, haven't I? Where, where is binoculars, telescope, anything? Ooh, that's cozy. Come on, telescope. That's the fire finder. Toolbox. No telescope. Come on. I'm serious. I guess. A glass cleaner. Oh. Oh, this is glass cleaner. That's a pencil sharpener. Let's go back outside to see if we can see it again. Maybe it's a glitch. Where was it? It was around this way. Why can't we run up here? Damn it. Come on. Oh, it's there. What is it? There's something floating in the sky. I don't know if that's meant to be there. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. This guy is kind of annoying. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think it's I just a wooden got chair. Splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh, day nine. Just right, you know. Hold on, skipped it. Skip the week. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I guess. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Uh-oh. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Wait. They got eaten by a bear. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn out know? dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Oh, okay. Just gonna skip another week. Henry? Henry, wake up. Is there a fire? If there's no fire, I shouldn't be waking us Get up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. She drunk. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Mm, Wait. I am. Are you having a nice time? Who the hell is this woman? Uh. Sure. Are you? Everything good there? It's my light switch. Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Wait. Well, I'll let you He's get Jules back to sleep then. Mm. 
Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Why is he being Hi, a dick? Baby. Wait. I'm skipping a lot of days here. Supply drop. With some chubby ass fingers. Is it too I much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. Hmm, I'm gonna take it all. Stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. What? She's, like, really precise about it. That's ridiculous. She'd be great at this job if she it's didn't need two barrels full of marijuana to function. Okay, I think I'm still going, going north. Gone lost so, so many times. Like oh, oh, is this two it? Two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and oh, sweet I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Oh, get rid of the bloody map. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Oh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and... I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I Ooh. came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. <gasps> so, Bitch. I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Oh, is this this brother? I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Okay, I found the supplies. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Thanks. I'm taking every single thing. Two folks. That's me. Food for other lookout. Oh, man. I want to take it, but I probably shouldn't, right? All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Wow. Day 64. All right. Oh no, there's a fire. Holy a shit. Front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. What and the, f the fire? She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny, or something practical, or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? How on earth is that fire going to be lasting that long? And why is she so chill? How about so, the big fire? The flapjack no ideas, fire. Huh? Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? That thing's still in the yeah, sky. I said I did. What it's is funny. it? Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Bloody bright. So there's this creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? I have no idea. Pee in the creek. What's that? 
I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. A little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I feel like we should be a little bit more worried about this fire. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> the flapjack fire. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know weird. it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I called it. I called it. They're gonna do a thing. I wish you were too. Ugh. <sighs> we could sit outside. Icky. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um, you know. What? What? Maybe specific. What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Oh, please don't. Ah, there you go. They censored it. They cut it off. Before we got down and... Bad. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? A problem bear? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Okay. Sure thing. Uh, sure. No problem. Remember Ooh, whiskey. Me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was a weird way to say what he just said. Okay, I think this this lake where those skinny dippers were, it's Jonesy Lake, so we can try and catch a fish. But there's also a friggin' bear out here. We need to get on this. We need to get on this log, right? To go fishing. Maybe not then. Oh, what's this? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. I got some. What? The, uh, it's. We had stuff on it. Shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what oh. we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Pick it I up. don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. What was that? Look at the strange Henry? noise in the canyon. I'm worried. You didn't find an oh, a radio. Mushrooms, did you? I found a walkie-talkie out here too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. <laughs> oh damn! We just got smashed. This is a proper drama kicking up. Henry, are you there? It's a creepy dude what looking happened, in the canyon. I, holy hell, I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Where's my things? Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? Can I, I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. Yeah, that's my radio. <sighs> I don't fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. She's lying. Southern she knows exactly Wapiti what it is. Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, 
Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where Glory you are right now. Wapiti Meadow. So that damn fence. That's it's a ridiculous north of the lake. It looks name. like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. Wapiti. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God. Wapiti Meadow. Are you are you sure you saw what? What you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. I don't think. I don't. I don't think so. She sounds like she's uh. Look, I know what I saw. Making, making it up an was excuse. Our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I I believe you, but that conversation Stop. was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So. What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Is that bad? Have we said anything illegal? What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Right, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Such okay. a silly name. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. She knows what's going on. It's so Thanks. obvious. An old sweater. A book. Why can't we take anything? That was a damn thing. Right, are we even going the right way? Because we always... We always get lost. Right, is it this way? It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, I think... I think... I think we go this way. Wow, look at the map. Look at the map properly. Dingus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. No. No. This is so... This game is great, but it's really hard to figure out what direction you're going on the map. Oh. Oh, what was that? Okay, it was just it was just a weird movement thing. Why? Who's balanced some rocks? That's strange. There's some definitely some weird science shit going on behind that fence. Honestly, I have to look at the map all the time. It's annoying. Oh, here's that fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Ooh, Whatever door. it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but it's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Come on, keep shoving the fence. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. Can we use this? I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Smash! Did that work? Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. Try again. Oh, shit. I I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. That's rude. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. How far away is this place? Ruby something. Look for controlled burn south of Ruby River. Where the hell is Ruby River? Oh my 
God, it's miles away. We're stat so far. Okay, right. Well, that's it for this episode. We're going to explore what's going on with this damn fence next time. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and you hit the notification bell so you can find out when that episode comes up. And if you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up button. It helps a lot and I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.